Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to showcase a CS2 cheat called Midnight. A purchase link will be in the description. So, if you click the link, you should be on Radiant Cheats website. This site sells a lot of cheats, but today I will showcase Midnight CS2. It's pretty cheap and they've got a promotion right now. Alright, so you need to click Add to Cart, click Proceed to Checkout. You should be here. You can click this button and type in GCS and click Add. You should get a 5% discount. Now click Proceed to Checkout once more. Fill in this information and make the payment. After paying, you need to go to My Keys tab, which is right here. And your key should be here. Alright, if you have a key, you need to go to Midnight website. You need to create an account and click on User CP. Here you have a button that says Activate Key. Paste your key right here and activate it. If you've done everything correctly, you should have a button that says Download Loader. Click on it and click Download. Ok, now open up the loader and this beautiful application should start. I really like the design. So now type your email and password right here and click Login Now. So as you can see I've successfully logged in and here I can see the status of the cheat. As we can see it's undetected. We can also see last build and we can also see when will your subscription end. Alright, if you want to load the cheat, you need to click start it now and select a download server. I'll just choose Germany. Now your build should be downloaded. When it's done, you should see this message and your Steam should automatically open. Just click OK and start CS2. Alright, now your cheat should be injected. Click insert and you should see this. Here we can configure our cheat. As we can see, we've got aimbot, we've got visuals for players, items. We can also change our view and HUD. And here are the MISC options. All right, let's move to the aimbot. As we can see, we can enable it. We can enable auto fire, which will shoot for you. We can enable auto stop, which will help you in your accuracy when shooting. We can also check these boxes and it will disable aimbot while flashed or disable aimbot through smoke. Here we can change kill delay. We can also change mouse lock percentage for X and Y. Here we've got trigger bot, it's pretty straightforward. And here we've got our recoil system. Here we've got weapon stab. You can also configure your aimbot for any weapon you want. Alright, I think we should move to the visual stab. Here we got players. The thing I love about this cheat is that you can see your visuals preview right here and you can also drag and drop its positioning so it's really easy to configure it. We can enable it, we can enable only visible if you want to play really legit. We can also enable off screen which will help you noticing enemies while they're behind you. We can also configure it champs right here. And we can also configure the same visuals for teammates right here. In the items tab, you can enable wall hack for weapons on the ground. We can enable it, we can enable trams, it's pretty straightforward. We can also see grenades through walls. In the C4 tab, we can enable damage indicator, which will tell you how much damage will the bomb do to you if it explodes. In the view tab we can change our view models, we can set champs to our hands and we can set the type of the champs. In the HUD tab we can enable aim target hitbox, we can enable aim recoil dot, we can draw our FOV for the aimbot, we can see our binds, we can enable sniper crosser, spectator list and C4 bomb info. Also here we can enable a radar. MISC tab is pretty straightforward, you can enable auto accept which will accept matches for you. Now here we've got inventory changer. You can add any skin or agent or gloves. As we can see I've selected the AK fire serpent. We can set its tag, we can set its seed, we can also enable stat track. We can even add stickers to it. And when you're ready you just click save. And as we can see in my inventory appeared a fresh new AK-47. Alright, the last tab is cloud. Here you can just create your configs and save them. 
Alright, now let me do a simple comping and I will show you some gameplay with this cheat and then you can decide if you want to buy it or not. Thank you. 